Hi everyone, today I have 10 DIY gifts for girls. I'm using this window arch I got from Dollar Tree and I give it one coat of the Spanish Moss Home Decor Chalk Paint. You can give it two coats if you like. And I have this vinyl from Dollar Tree and I'm using it to cover this wooden moon that I got from Amazon and I will link down below. So I just stick it on the moon where I want the pattern showing <laughs> and then I cut around it with some scissors and an exacto knife because it was hard to get in that part and cut it with the scissors and then I just smoothed down the edges and I'm going to hot glue that in place. Now you don't have to use these colours if you don't want to, you can use a different vinyl. So I already laid out these stars that I got from Amazon and I'm just going to hot glue them in place. I used three different sizes and I used the bigger ones at the very top and the bottom. And this is how it turned out and I think it turned out so pretty. This is an 8x10 canvas frame from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking a box cutter to remove the canvas and I'm cutting it on the front because I want to keep the canvas because I'm going to reuse it for this DIY and I lent my box cutter to my boyfriend. <laughs> he has his own one but now it's not very sharp so I'm going to have to go get another one from Dollar Tree of course. <laughs> So once I took that off, I uh, just pulling the rest of the canvas off the back and then I, um, you can remove the staples if you want to but I only removed the ones in the extra ones in the corners because there was ones, there was two in each corner and the ones that were sticking up, I took them off. I just used the pliers for that. And my canvas had this like grey wood piece at the bottom. Um, every time I see other people making stuff with these canvases, they always seem to have nice looking frames. I don't know if it just looks like that on the camera or if I just always pick a bad one. <laughs> and I'm going to use some Dollar Tree Super Glue wood glue. And then I just have some half beads, I'll link them down below as well and I'm just covering up the frame. I was going to leave it plain but because that piece was grey at the bottom I decided to cover it up. You can paint it if you want to but uh, this is a neutral DIY. So here is some of the ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to hot glue it around the outside of the frame. Again, this is because I wanted to cover up the frame. It didn't look so nice, <laughs> especially that grey one. So you don't have to do this step either, but it actually turned out really nice in the end. And I'm glad that I did it. If you wanted to make this a coloured DIY, then you could paint the frame whatever colour you want. You could use um, some coloured ribbon, it's up to you. Just make it your own. So I just keep hot gluing that all the way around. And then I snip it off at the end. And then I decided to do it on the inside of the frame as well. Also, this is an extra step you don't need to do, but it does look nice. So I just glue that all the way around using the hot glue. But just be careful with this ribbon because it's got holes in it. And my video is speeded up, so I do wait a second before I lay it down. But you guys can't see that because it's so fast. 
So don't worry, <laughs> not burning my fingers doing it. I know some people have commented about that. I do wait a second, you just can't see it. And then if you run out of ribbon, you can just add on the next one. And you can't even notice where you have joined it up, which is the good thing about these ribbons. And then I just burn the hairs with the lighter. That lighter wasn't working, so I got a different one. And I like this one, it's got a big huge flame on it. <laughs> but be careful doing this as well, because you don't want to get burnt. If you want to, you could paint the canvas part pink or blue if you wanted to make it for a boy. So I'm just going to glue the frame to the canvas now. I'm just using some hot glue. And I'm going to do it in sections because I want to make sure that the glue doesn't dry before I lay it down. And also, I want to make sure that it is flat. And just get rid of any glue strings. And that's it. So now I have these moons that I got from Amazon. I'll link them down below. I'm just going to put one in the corner. And these wee stars are from Amazon too. I'm just going to spread them all out and then I'm going to glue them down. So just keep spreading them out until you're happy with how it looks. It's supposed to be random anyway. <laughs> and then I'm just going to glue them on with some wood glue. You can use hot glue if you like or some other kind of glue. Yeah, so this doesn't have to be neutral. You can change up the colours. You could paint the frame and the stars and the moon, or you could paint the canvas, or you could stain the stars and the wood frame. I was going to stain the moon and the stars, but then I decided against it. <laughs> but it would look pretty either way. And now I'm just putting a wee sawtooth hanger on the back. I'm just gluing it on with some hot glue because the picture is not heavy. And this is how it turned out. And I love how this one turned out as well. Here I have this cloud and star mirror from Dollar Tree and I put some half beads on already. I'm using wood glue here because it was easier for me <laughs> but I don't recommend it for this because some of them did pop off. So either use hot glue or something stronger and I, I seen this um, cloud uh, Tina Lee put some beads and stuff on it and I'd forgotten that I had bought these so I got the inspiration from her for this DIY but she made her cloud into a jewellery holder but I'm going to make some raindrops with some beads and I'm just putting uh, the biggest one to the smallest one that I have and then tying a knot at each end and then I'm just snipping off the excess and I make the other ones off camera <laughs> and then for the shooting star I have this beaded garland from Dollar Tree so I just put a tassel at one end and then I bead on I bead on I put the beads on the twine and I think I did 8, 14 and 20 for that and then I don't know for the raindrops you can decide how long or short that you want them oh and I got these um, tassels on Amazon I will link them down below so I needed something for these to stick to so I'm just using some of the burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing it around the middle of the star. I do the same on the cloud but I won't show you that. So just keep gluing it all the way around. I 
and then you can just snip it off at the end. And then that gives you something. Oh, you have to burn all the hairs off. <laughs> Forget about that part. <laughs> so now I'm just using some hot glue and I'm going to stick the biggest one in the middle and then the smaller ones at the sides. And then the middle sized ones, I am gluing in the middle of those two. And I just put a wee bit extra hot glue on the back. And then I will glue the raindrop ones on off camera. <laughs> Forgot what it was called there. I didn't show it, but I put a sawtooth hanger on the back of each of these to hang them up. And well, this is how they turned out. <laughs> and I like these two. You can always do different colored beads. You could paint the star, the moon. I mean, no, it's not a moon, it's a cloud. <laughs> you could paint them. Um, there's lots of different things you can do with these. This is a 4x4 four four frame from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And I painted the inside with this Cottage Rose Folk Art chalk paint. No, it's not chalk paint, it's matte paint. <laughs> and I'm going to use some Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue. And I got these We Wood Cut Out Flowers from Amazon. I'll also link them down below. And this is just a wee cute DIY. You could make a bigger one if you wanted to. But I just wanted to do something with these wee flowers. And then I haven't thought of anything else to do with them. <laughs> so you will see them in a future DIY. A future video. So I just put them in to fit and then I just glued them down with some wood glue and you can stain them or paint them if you want to. Also you can stain or paint the frame. It's up to you. You don't even have to use pink paint. <laughs> in this video I did some green DIYs, some neutral DIYs and some with pink in them just to mix it up. So once you have them all stuck down, this is what it looks like. You could put it on a shelf or a tiered tray. Maybe I should make a whole video of tiered tray DIYs. I don't know. <laughs> so this ceramic star is from Dollar Tree. And then this is the burlap ribbon from that pack of three that you get from Dollar Tree. And I'm just cutting it up the middle. And then I'm going to hot glue it around the edge of the star. You don't have to do this step either, but I think it looks really pretty and makes it look more finished. You can also paint the star if you want to. I um, just decided to make this a neutral DIY. But you can make it your own, whatever colour you like. You can stain or paint. The next part that I'm going to show you. <laughs> and just watch your fingers with this when you're sticking it down. And then once you get to the end, just snip it off with some scissors. And then burn all the wee hairs off with a lighter. I don't have to do that either if you don't want to. <laughs> but I'm going to use these stars again. And I am just going to place them all over the big star. And then just make it random. <laughs> and then once I'm happy with how it looks, I just glue them on with some hot glue. But I don't know if that's the best glue for this. Maybe something stronger would be better. But this is what I'm using for the video. And then just be careful because <laughs> those wee stars are really small. And like I said before, you can stain or paint the stars, the wee stars or the big star if you want to.
After I stuck all the stars down, I used the hanger that came with it and I thought about putting some beads on it and then I decided against it. <laughs> but you can put beads on yours if you want to. And then I burnt that twine with the hanger, with the hanger, my god, with the lighter. <laughs> And this is how it turned out, and I think it turned out really cute. For this DIY, I'm using these moons again, and I'm just going to cover it with the vinyl from Dollar Tree again. So just doing the same thing, putting it in the position where I want the pattern to be on the moon. And then I'm just trimming off the excess. I think my exacto knife isn't very sharp now either. <laughs> I, w I was trimming some peel and stick wallpaper with it, so I don't know if that that's why. <laughs> Probably. So I have one of these round ceramic pieces from Dollar Tree, and I'm just taking the hanger out halfway and I am swapping it so it looks like this instead of having the twine going across at the front and then I just hot glue the moon down and then I was going to use a wee star but then I found these big stars at Dollar Tree I remembered I had them <laughs> and um, I'm just covering the star with the vinyl as well I just was trying to get the pattern in the right position and then I just trim it down with some scissors. I think this vinyl is so pretty, I looked for it for so long <laughs> and then I finally found it uh, about a month ago or something. So you can either use this vinyl if you can find it, there's another nice blue flower one I've used before from Dollar Tree. And um, you could just stay in or paint the stars if you want to. So I was going to leave it like that, but then I decided that I need to add some of the ribbon. <laughs> so I'm just measuring it to see if it's long enough. And then I am cutting it down the middle again. Now you don't have to do this step, but I just think it looks really nice when you do it. So I just hot gluing it on like I did for the last one and yeah I really think it makes a difference. So I just hot glue it all the way around and then I just trim it at the end and then that is the DIY finished. No it's not. <laughs> I've got to burn off the hairs. <laughs> I always forget about that part and this is how it turned out and I think this turned out really cute and pretty as well this is one of the Dollar Tree unicorn Christmas decorations and I got this last year but I think they have them every year I paint the back of the unicorn with this cottage rose um, full cart paint so I just cut off the hanger and now I am using my hot knife to um, cut off the plastic hanger part because it didn't come off I couldn't just cut it with some scissors and then this is the larger nesting box from Dollar Tree so I'm just taking off the hardware from the front and then I am using four half beads to make feet and making sure I stick them on the side with the holes. <laughs> so I'm using the ribbon again. <laughs> I love this ribbon. I always pick it up because I just, I just love it. <laughs> you don't have to use it if you don't want to. You could use some um, thicker twine or something or you could paint the box. It's up to you. This is just what I wanted to do. 
and then I had like some scrap pieces of this left so I thought I better just use it up so I just sticking it to all the sides and I did it with the scalloped edge facing in and you can do it the other way around if you want to <laughs> it's your DIY so you can decide what changes you want to make to it you could always um, add some scrapbook paper to the back of this that would look nice well, I decided just to leave it plain and then I burned all the wee hairs with the lighter and then the unicorn I so you see I just painted one side of the unicorn <laughs> and I just using a Dollar Tree block and I stuck that to the painted side and then I'm just sticking it inside the box you could paint this side if you wanted to as well but I liked how it looked because the unicorn is iridescent so you'll see in the last clip um, what it looks like and then I'm just adding these wee stars to the back you could do it first if you want to but I wanted to make sure that they were going to be seen when I stuck the unicorn on and I'm just gluing them down with some wood glue and you can paint the stars if you want to it's up to you you could stain them as well but I thought it would look nice like this so and I only added one more star because when I looked at it when it was standing up I could see that I needed another one <laughs> and this is how it turned out and you see how it's pink but iridescent so you can paint it and make it matte if you want to but I think it turned out really nice like this I have two triangle shadow boxes from Dollar Tree and I painted the inside of them with a Spanish moss home decor chalk paint and now I am just making <laughs> the moon again with the vinyl and I was just making sure it's going to be on I want it to be on that, that rose to be in the middle of it so I'll just trim it down and then stick it on but then I couldn't decide what way it was supposed to go it was late at night and I was tired <laughs> so I was messing around <laughs> But anyway, if it's not exactly where you want it to be, you can just take it off and uh, place it better. So then I just trim it off with the scissors on the outside and the X-Acto knife on the inside. You could X-Acto knife both sides if you want to. <laughs> and then once that's done, I just smooth down the edges. And then I poked the hole through because I'm going to have this hanging. And then I'm using some of the string that comes with these moons. I'm just hot glue in the end. And I'm going to add three beads. You can paint or stain the beads if you want to. You could stain the boxes if you want to. Um, you can use an another colour other than green if you want to. So just measuring how long it needs to be tying a knot and then I'm going to trim off the excess and then I'm going to hot glue it in place so that it hangs down and then I'm going to use some Dollar Tree Super Glue wood glue and I'm sorry I thought I was recording and I didn't record me gluing those I just hot glued this this vine that I got from Walmart and the other one <laughs> anyway so now I just have some beads and I am going to glue them in the middle of one of these boxes and then I'm going to leave it upright till the beads dry 
And then once they're dry, I just put some more of the wood glue on the other side and then fit them together and leave them to dry. Off camera, I put a hanger on the back and this is how it turned out. And I had to film it this way because uh, it wouldn't all fit in <laughs> um, the other way, so sorry about that. But I love how this one turned out as well. And this is an old canvas that my son had on his wall years and years ago. And um, I don't know, I kept meaning to give these cam I have a bunch of them, Iron Man and all that, to Goodwill. But my boyfriend was like, why don't you just make them over? I'm like, why did I not think of that? Because <laughs> they're quite big. Um, the Iron Man one is much bigger, but I just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But anyway, I'm taking it off with the box cutter and doing it on the front because I want to re reuse the canvas part. I'm going to stick it to the back of the frame because I want to keep the wood frame. So I just um, keep going around <laughs> until I get the canvas off. And then just peel it off the back. This one was stuck down with brown paper and everything. <laughs> uh, it was a bit of a nightmare to take apart. So yeah, I had to use my scissors, pliers. I even had to like wet the the brown paper and scrub it off because it was on the inside of the frame and I didn't want that showing. So I don't know if I show you that part, but yeah, it was just like brown paper, just wet it and scraped it off. And then I'm leaving most of the staples in because they are screwed in. I just hammered any that were sticking up uh, down. <laughs> And then once that was finished, I got some half beads and then I was just going to put one in each corner, but I changed my mind. You'll see later on, I added some more. <laughs> and then I painted the canvas part with this plaster chalk paint. So I'm just using a sponge brush because uh, I wanted some texture. So I'm just uh, dabbing that all over and I ended up giving it two coats because the print on that's pretty dark. So now I am just going to glue down the canvas and I'm using some scotch adhesive and then I'm going to use some hot glue as well because this is like a pretty big canvas. So yeah, then I just laid it down and pressed it down and made sure it was all flat. And then I turned it over and pressed it all down just to make sure it was all stuck properly. And you can see I added the extra beads in the corners. And then these butterflies are from Dollar Tree. They have different colours. But I was making this for Renisha and um, she likes these colours so... What I'm doing is taking my Cricut tool and I'm just bending the butterflies in half because I want them to be like 3D. So I just do that with, I think I did it with all of them. I can't remember, I actually made this a while ago <laughs> when we were decorating our bedroom. So this is where they look like, I just um, placed them everywhere I wanted them. And then for the bigger ones, I doubled them up. And I left the one, one of them flat and then the folded one I put on top. So I just keep hot gluing them in place. You see some of the some of them I did that with, I doubled them up. And I think I used all the butterflies in the pack. <laughs> so you could paint the canvas a different colour if you want to, or you could paint the frame. But I thought that it looked nice like this. You could also stain the frame. 
You could also get different packs of butterflies and mix up the colours. These ones are like green and blue and gold. Right, so I did the rest off camera. <laughs> and then now I'm just making a hanger for the back of this frame. And since it is so long, I thought I would do it this way. So I'm just using some twine and some popsicle sticks. And then um, just snip them off at the end. And this is how it turned out. So she was happy with it anyway when um, she had her room reveal. <laughs> so um, let me know which one of these DIYs is your favourite in the comments down below. Um, I think I will try making a one for boys. I just don't have any ideas yet. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!